Hello guys and welcome back to Let's Play Stone Keep. Um, <laughs> you, well, when we last left off, we just defeated the evil te tentacle beast. There it is. Hold on, let's turn around. Where is it? Where is it? It's there. There it is. There's its tentacles. There's the carcass. Stenchy, stinking, slimy, evil beast. Um, yeah, so when we last left off, guys, um, it was some time ago, I think, about a week more, probably. Um, so why has <laughs> there been such a delay? Well, well, you may know that I have had lots of trouble trying to get this game to record properly. And, um, unfortunately, I, well, I have tried loads of times, lots of different things, lots of different ways. Um, and unfortunately, ooh, green mushrooms, yeah. Thanks very much for that. Take them. Um, unfortunately, none of the well, the method that I used to use is very unreliable and has a, and has a habit of not working. However, today I s just was thinking well, there's the stinky, stenchy corpse of the tentacle beast. Ugh, oh, makes us want to vomit everywhere. <laughs> um, is very unreliable. The method I used to use, uh, it just. I thought I had got it nailed, but unfortunately not. However, um, I am now using a method that I know would work guaranteed, but could never get to work without absolutely destroying my frame rate. And you may oh, some herbs, lovely herbs, lovely, lovely. But you, so you may notice actually, in this particular game, is actually running a little bit laggier than normal, um, but. I think what's happened, I because I'm using fraps for this particular recording, and um, which is great because um, <laughs> it means I can do a thing at once. But um, the main bonus and the main plus is that uh, I want to be in here. We'll come into this uh, secret room here. I I'll come back to what I was saying after we've finished with this chest. You may notice this chest has got a triangle and it's locked. You may also remember that Wahooka gave us this red triangle. It is in fact a key. Would you believe it? <laughs> let's put it on our key ring as well. Come on. Right, let's open up. Dismiss. Go away. Don't need that. Right. There we go. Oh, right. Fire blade. Useful. Scroll, what does the scroll say, Trey? Have a little read of this, please. Shrink rune. Target is shrunk. Oh dear, we haven't got. Drake's voice is not working again. Great. Something else to fix. <laughs> it was working before, though, so I don't know why that is. Oh, I think I know why. Because I. Did I start recording this? Partially. Ah. Uh, Right, there's more to it than I, than I had uh, imagined there to be too. <laughs> lots of oil. Anything else actually? I need to just double check. No. Okay. Right. Well, that's good. Some oil and some, uh, a magic spell shrink. Actually, we best check that in our rune book. So it's not a manish rune. It is a fair rune. Great. Like, uh. <laughs> like Dungeons and Dragons. You get the joke. You know, realms of fair room. <laughs> Excuse me. <coughs> yeah, my crappy joke caused me to choke. Choking on jokes. No, it's not that way, it's this way. Yeah. So. Anyway, so basically, um, the way that I was trying to use it, I do it before, it wasn't working, now it is working, and I'm pleased about that, but it does cause the game to go slow, slower than I'd like it to go. So, that's a bad, bad thing, but the good thing is that I can record it without having my heart sink to my boots every time. <laughs> so we haven't been this way. Let's get back into the game, shall we? Less of that. I'm just getting excited about bring up the map. So we're here. Okay. 
and there's a locked door. Before I was captured, I found the key to this door. Ah, here it is. Right, so that's Farley. And basically, it's the game saying to you, um, well, if we hadn't had Farley at this point, we couldn't make any further progress, which is a bit... It was, well, basically, the game's forcing you to so make sure that you have two people in your party at this point. So... I suppose there's an indicator that, that what's coming next is harder than what we've had before. And to be honest, well, all we've had really is a sort of warm-up period. Anyway, this used to bug the living day out of me I, when I first played the game. I didn't know what on earth was going on, but... Now I know. <laughs> you put the magic dragon statue on there, and lo, here is a secret path. Behold, the Underlands! So, there is the Underlands, and that's where we're about to go now, actually. So let's get on with it, and let's get going. So here we are, some sort of mine. If uh, we bring up our map, no, no, we have a better way of doing that, don't we? It's the Sharga mines, the Shargas, if you remember, the little green goblins. Where are we now? I know not. Records of the clan show nothing here. By Thera, any ideas? Only one. My people did not carve this mine out of the earth. Right. Farley, I've got two points to make to you there. First of all, Drake said, where are we? And uh, and then basically your response was, <laughs> we didn't do it. Hmm, very suspicious. <laughs> Doesn't answer the question though. And second point, if you didn't come by this way, which way did you come? Because we checked, and this is the only way out of Stonekeep. Hello Mr. Wasp, nice to see you there. Right, we're just going to keep with our old method of going left. Keeping left, always left. Left, left, left. Come on. What's this? That's it. It's a bolt. No, it's not a bolt, it's a dart. And a rock. Yeah, we'll take that rock, thanks. <laughs> Something. Oh, what's it is? It's a golden coin, great. Now we've got two. And a skull. Another skull for the pile. Great. Come on, let's go this way. Although the game is, um, it keeps lagging up a bit. My frames per second don't really dip that much. Morrowind doesn't lag very much. Oh, this is a trap, isn't it? Quick, quick, move, move, move. Uh, did you hear that? That was the sound of a, a bolt tink tickering onto the... No, put that away, Drake. Actually, I want to turn around, but... Uh... Alright, we'll turn uh, left then. <laughs> did you hear that sneaky little sound? Okay, um, just so you know, <laughs> the game crashed just at that point, so um, I'm going to go back. Um, I actually had previously done this level on a few failed attempts to record this uh, this game, so I just want to talk. There's a rock there, nice rock. And uh, there is a chest, we're not going to go any further though on that particular score. Want to take us around here? Oh, bother! Some rocks fell down here, and we would become trapped. Um, I found we found a pickaxe here, and uh, what else? But we found an annoying sort of shrub plant monster thing that was throwing out spines or something like that at us. Um, but more importantly, there was something sleeping this way. We get close enough to actually get here. You can hear that? You might be able to make out the fact that there's something there. That <laughs> monster is not very um, friendly, so we're just going to leave that there um, and not bother with it. 
So you can see we've mapped out all of that. Um, so when we come back, guys, because uh, I think this probably is about time to sort of leave it there. And when we come back, there'll be more Sharga mines. We've got an awful lot to sort of investigate, so that's what we will do. Um, I also we made a little note here, sleeping monster. <laughs> anyway, thank you very much for watching. I appreciate your audience. Stay safe, take care of yourself, and goodbye.